Hey, 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 what's up, what's your boy G Shrimp, everybody, say baby daddy, the voice of the street, man, and today we in, we in Chicago, y'all, we in the studio, Brotherville Entertainment, now check this out, y'all, I was taking a cruise through TikTok, just paying attention and listening for content, because I got something over there on TikTok, too, right? Then I come across these things. I know y'all been hearing it. I heard somebody tell me this morning, Oprah Winfrey was arrested. And I'm like, what? Man, that's fake news. I ain't heard it. But a few people said it. Now, I ain't here to tell you Oprah Winfrey is arrested. That's not what I'm saying. But her hand has been around a lot of shady dealings, y'all. A lot of shady things been going on with her. Now, I'm going to just listen to, let y'all listen to some of the things that they're talking about on TikTok. Listen to this. Rose McGowan. Rose drags Oprah for being friends with Harvey Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who have been also faced essay allegations. She said, I am glad more are seeing the ugly truth of at Oprah. I wish she was real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Now, there's been rumors for years that Oprah used to pick a lot of Jeffrey Epstein's victims for him. In fact, there was a time when the police allegedly raided her house in Florida in connection to a sex trafficking operation bus. Before the fire started, Oprah Winfrey hired private firefighters That's for the white. Not Oprah and The Rock being in together. They trying to collect $10 million in donations like they ain't got it. She can't even protect the children at her school. An all-girls academy grades 8 through 12 in South Africa. Just months after the school was hit with its first sex scandal, seven students were suspended for sexually harassing their schoolmates. One 15-year-old prayed another student and urged her victims to lie to investigators about what happened. Allegedly, girls were intimidating the others who partake in inappropriate behaviors. In the first year, a female member of the school staff was accused of physically and sexually abusing students. Arrested after several girls made statements. Oprah settled the lawsuit before the trial began. Parents were complaining about only being able to visit their children once a month. And the girls were only allowed to use their cell phones on weekends. The body of a newborn baby was found in a plastic bag at Oprah's school. Let's not forget about her good friend, John of God who abused over 600 women, kept teenagers as slaves, and sold their babies, and his own daughter said she was abused by him. Another good friend of hers, Harvey Weinstein, all the flights she made to that island, ruined her relationship with Monique, bringing her brother on this show to talk about what he did to her when she was young, ruined her friendship with Janet, messing with Michael's kids when he passed. Rose McGowan, Rose drags. Now, y'all heard that? Now, all of them, it's allegation. Now, all this here is alleged, y'all. Now, remember that. All this has been alleged. And this is for educational purposes only. I'm going to put the disclaimer in the description. All this is alleged, y'all. But, if you look at it like this, though, she keeping some shady company, y'all. And I'm talking about Sadie. Let me just break it down. Some of the names that they went over, y'all. Now, everybody know the rise and fall of Russell Simmons, right? Russell Simmons is the one who owned, uh, he owned Def Jam at first, y'all. That's Ron DMC, big brother, y'all. He ran it. He also had the comedy club back in the day, y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. God bless y'all. Good night. I thought he was weird for that shit. He never would say nothing. The Deaf Comedy Jam, I loved it. But every night, I would hope this motherfucker just say one thing different. And he wouldn't. God bless y'all. Thank y'all for coming out. <laughs> I said, yeah, he a little weird. But you know, uh, Russell Simpson... Okay, he doing his thing, y'all. He fucking with little girls and actually little boys. That's what his wife said. 
and he, he got a lot of shady allegations against his name, which is why he overseas somewhere practicing Buddha. And when you see him, he had his legs down and all this. Yeah, his dad's going crazy, or he probably ain't crazy. We think he on one of the motherfucking islands that Epstein own. That's where he at over there, Epstein Island, something damn well. Now, Epstein, that's his name, Jeffrey Epstein, y'all, is the billionaire who had the island over there, y'all. And all these big wigs were coming over there having sex with teenage girls. See, if you ever want to know what happened to all these girls that they are sex trafficking and shit like that, this is where they take them to islands like this. Now, technically, they can end up anywhere. Don't quote me on that. They can end up anywhere. But, sometimes, a lot of them, allegedly, are flown to these islands like the one Epstein owned. And rich folks come and have their pick. I don't know what it is with, I won't say white folks, but some people that like the fetish of a child, a young person. And this is my little personal joke, if you ask me. If you was a little, let's say a white boy, whose penis ain't really big, and you know you can't satisfy no woman, especially coming behind a black motherfucker, what's next to him? If he got a little dick, he wants to have sex with a child. I guess that's the mind of a, a psychotic motherfucker. Now I just thought of that, but I never could picture what would make you do some shit like this. Just talking about moving on, talking about that just made me feel ooh creepy. God damn! I take that back. Oh my God! How the fuck could you even think of some shit like that? Whew. Lord, Lord, help me, help me, Lord, I need some shit on me now. Yeah, so Epstein, he owned the island, y'all. Now, check this out about Jesse Epstein. Enough allegations came out about him on the island and having people come on over there and doing all kind of freaky shit. He only wanted young girls over there. He could do that. That's another island as he owned it. When all this shit come up, guess what they say? He went to jail or something, and... He committed suicide. And he never even went to jail. He never was locked up or none of that. But they said he committed suicide. Yeah, right. Bullshit. That's bullshit, y'all. That man paid. Act like he faked his own death. When had his face and some shit changed. And his business as usual. He doing whatever he doing. He on some island somewhere. Another one he owned. And he laid back and like fuck the United States. I don't have to go over there no more. When you got big money like that. You could do shit like that. Hmm? Now another one of her friends. Sadie y'all. Now I was just talking about Jesse. Harvey Weinstein. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Harvey Weinstein was the guy who owned, they owned a, a production company, the people who make the movies. So I guess that would be like a casting company, right? And uh, all the famous A-list stars that went through there, I'm talking about the women, Angela Jolie, a few nice names, some of the female actors, they all done went through there. And you had, they call it, she had to sit on the director's couch. Now, if you let him get a little pussy, he put you in the movie. All the women who didn't get put in the movie turned him down, didn't want to give him none, and they didn't go nowhere. It even got so bad to the point where they like, hey girl, you want to be in that movie? Fuck it, get that hunky little pussy. Allegedly. Well, this I ain't got to say allegedly with him, y'all. It's been proven. It's been proven. This is one of the names I used as the example. I knew R. Kelly was going to jail then, y'all, when this motherfucking hunky went to jail here for his alleged allegations and sex trafficking. They gave him 23 years. He the one started the Me Too movement, y'all. He had so many women that he had did that to. All the A-list actors that had been through that, the females, 
Oh, they got together and they like, yeah, he fucked me too. What? He fucked me too. What? He fucked me too. Me too. Me too. Before you know it, it was a bunch of them holding hands talking about, he fucked me too. And guess what? Hit that like button, man, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Yeah, he had them all holding hands talking about, me too. He fucked me too. Me too. Me too. Even gay guys in the line. Brad Pitt say, yeah, me too. He like, Brad, you look so good. I I don't even like, I like women, but Brad, I will fuck you. Yeah, I had Brad Pitt, George Clooney, three niggas in there like, put your ass over here too. Yeah, that hurt his ass, Steven Cigar. Come here. Come here, I want to see you kick a motherfucker and then do a split. Mm-hmm, had Steven Cigar over there. Steven Cigar said, hey, me too. Mm-hmm, yeah, he fucked. Everybody. One thing about them weird motherfuckers, they be so sexually active, it don't matter what type it is. Man or woman or child, they will get down. You hear me? They will get down. So, he got 23 years though, y'all. And I was doing the story. I said then, oh, it ain't looking good for our Kelly, y'all. If they gave him, see, we living in new times, y'all. They used to wouldn't even arrest these big time stars. They used to wouldn't lock police up for doing wrong. They, it, listen, the younger generation that's coming up, and I ain't just talking about the uh, black folks, I'm talking about the uh, younger white generation, the grandkids and shit, they don't see no cover. They don't give a fuck. If they in position, they'll lock a motherfucker up. Cause they grow them like, why do not like black, black people? You know what I mean? They like, I, I, I never had a problem with a black person. You know what I mean? And they be dead serious. So if imagine one of them grandkids in office, are we going to charge this police? You damn right we going to charge him. You damn right. Are we going to lock this guy up? You damn right we going to lock him up. And they go by the book. And a lot of shit been happening, y'all. You got to admit Police been going to jail. Look at this guy. Harvey Weinstein, he went to jail 23 years. And then what they did, gave R. Kelly 30. I'm like, wow, wow. Then another name they brought up during this open investigation. This nigga man name was John of God. What he was doing was running like a coat, y'all. He had a coat. Picture David Koresh, right? For some of you newer people, like the Waco, Texas shit. That shit happened in Waco. He was one of those guys. He was a little before the Waco situation, right? They said he had 600 women he had captured because they coughed and he would walk around. He would fuck all of them. He fucking with the children. He getting the young girls pregnant. He fucking the mama and the daughter. And then make them have kids and all that. And they lived on the compound. It wasn't 600 of them when they started, y'all. Yeah, it grew, but I'm talking about it grew in popularity. And fathers, the kids too. Population, it got bigger because, listen, he having kids and adding them to the roster. And they growing up and they growing up. Before you know it, he had 600 people. It took a while for the police coming there and tear all that shit down, but eventually they will come. And you'll be surprised how they be getting busted, y'all, for some of the smallest shit in the world. They get busted sometimes for not taking these kids to school. You talking about you go home school, uh-uh, and when you going against the state, you think, fuck this coworker, bitch, leave. I ain't sending my kids to school. Okay. <laughs> okay. She go go back and give your ass a whole world of trouble. Now you got doctors and FBI agents and the Board of Education at your fucking door because you talking about you homeschooling and that's how, that's what happened to David Caress. That's what happened to him, y'all. They just want to come in there and see something or whatever. Mm -mm. He like, no, nah, y'all ain't coming here to do a goddamn thing. None of that. And boy, that that whew, was some crazy. Hit that like button, y'all. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. That there, 
How many people, put it in the comments, how many people remember Waco, Texas? Tell me that. How many people remember David Caress? This guy, when he said he was about it, he was about it. He told them police, if y'all try to enter, it's going to be a problem. It's going up. Police, you know, come with SWAT thought. Man, we finna come in there. We going to get this motherfucker. Man, listen, they tried to come through a top window, y'all. Listen, they opened up on them boys with M16 and all kind of shit. They fucked SWAT up, y'all. You hear me? Fuck shot SWAT up. Had them motherfuckers jumping off the roof. Shot two, three of them down. They rolled off the roof. Other nigga jumped off the roof. I'm talking about, listen, it was bad. Lit they ass up. And they had to get their guys and drag them on out of there. I'm like, I done seen it all. SWAT done lost a goddamn shootout. Ooh, I got my popcorn. Ooh, this is good here. SWAT done lost a damn shootout. I can't believe it. I'm sitting there just watching it, y'all. You know what SWAT them did? They went and got some big ass speakers and just blasted rap music all night like let's go do something. They stood outside of this man's house for 53 fucking days just looking. Do you know it took a lady to send them in there? You know who the lady was? Janet Reno. Yes, Janet Reno was the official in Washington, in the White House at the time. She said, what the fuck are y'all doing? She said, it's time for y'all to turn the heat up on them motherfuckers and handle y'all business. <laughs> she didn't mean literally, but <laughs> they shot them motherfucker things in there, them flash grenades. <laughs> You know, they do that to scare you, and then they, they finna come in. Whenever a great name come through your window, go, Poosh! it's supposed to goddamn put you in discombobulation, and you be, oh, disorientated, like, oh, you can't see, and boom, here they coming in, y'all. But this grenade has fire on it, so whatever it hit, Poosh! it burns up. It burns up the whole goddamn compound. You telling me y'all sit out there 53 days and then one grenade y'all shot in there and it burned up the whole goddamn compound. <sighs> y'all could have been dead that. Anyway, that's what this guy was doing. John the God, he had another one of them uh things, a coat. That's crazy. Now let's go see what old lady say. So we got Jeffrey Weinstein, no Harvey, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey <coughs> Espen. Oh my God, that's crazy, y'all. This is so many people. All these people. I want y'all to look them names up. Epstein, his name. I'm sorry, Jeffrey Epstein. Look his name up. Look up uh, Harvey name, and y'all see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, my thing is this. Did she get arrested? Anybody out there, leave it in the comments. Let me know. They show all kind of fake stuff. But one thing y'all got to realize is some of these content creators are some liars. If y'all notice, I do shit different. I do not just tell y'all shit to be telling y'all not. I try to keep it real. If it's like this about me or something like that. I don't just use clickbait because I ain't making the money they making yet. Now, you can click that shit all you want. I, I, when I start making some money, maybe I'll use some clickbait, but I ain't, it ain't in me to do it, man. But some of these people, they know what they doing. They'll flat out tell you, Prince and Michael Jackson never heard of untaped, unfound tape, never before seen footage of Prince and Michael Jackson. Recording a song in the studio. You be like, what? I want to see that. And you turn it on in some pictures of some damn cats. You'd be like, you motherfucker. You motherfucker. So if the news is fake, it's fake. But let me let y'all hear again all this shit. Over for being friends with Harvey Weinstein and Russell Simmons, who have been also faced essay allegations. 
He said, I am glad more are seeing the ugly truth of at Oprah. I wish she was real, but she isn't. From being pals with Weinstein to abandoning and destroying Russell Simmons' victims, she is about supporting a sick power structure for personal gain. She is as fake as they come. Now, there's been rumors for years that Oprah used to pick a lot of Jeffrey Epstein's victims for him. In fact, there was a time when the police allegedly raided her house in Florida in connection to a sex trafficking operation bus. Before the fire started, Oprah Winfrey hired private firefighters to protect her land. Not Oprah and The Rock standing together. They trying to collect $10 million in donations like they ain't got it. No, if I missed that part, but still talking about Oprah and the Rock, y'all know all that shit burn up over there in Hawaii, y'all. It's a lot of shit caught on fire over there. They saying that Oprah Winfrey had hired private firemen to be over there to save some of her property, on you know what I mean, to save her property, and then now her and the Rock then got together. They both had property over there claiming that they need millions of dollars. They filed on their insurance claim, which they don't have the right to, but they doing it like they need it. They really don't need it, but, you know, but if, see, this is where the contradiction come in at. If she hired private firemen to keep her shit safe, why would she need to collect anything? So, that could be a rumor right there too, y'all. Protect the children at her school. Nah, that other part. Remember, Oferefi owned a school in Africa, an all girls school in Africa. I'm talking about as soon as that place opened up, we start hearing allegations of somebody getting raped over there. Now, these are all girls. They're getting raped. Uh, some of them coming up missing. She wanted the school over there in Africa and all that. Because they could take advantage of kids over there. You know what I mean? It's easier. The police, you know, don't ain't strong as they is over here. So they go over there and act like they doing such a big thing. But it's a lot of shady shit going on. They told the parents that they can't come visit their kids for once a month. They wouldn't let the girls call out. They don't want them blowing the whistle. They only was allowed to use their phone once a month. What? Once a month? That's crazy for little bitty girls grammar school. You know, that's crazy. All Girls Academy grades 8 through 12 in South Africa. 8 through 12. Just months after the school was hit with its first sex scandal, seven students were suspended for sexually harassing their schoolmates. One 15-year-old prayed another student and urged her victims to lie to investigators about what happened. Allegedly, girls were intimidating the others who partake in inappropriate behaviors. In the first year, a female member of the school staff was accused of physically and sexually abusing students. Arrested after several girls made statements. Oprah settled the lawsuit before the trial began. Parents were complaining about only being able to visit their children once a month. And the girls were only allowed to use their cell phones on weekends. The body of a oh, newborn weekend. baby was found in a plastic bag at Oprah's school. Let's not forget about her good friend, John of God, who abused over 600 women, John kept teenagers as slaves, and sold their babies. And his own daughter said she was abused by him. Another good friend of hers, Harvey Weinstein, all the flights she made to that island, Ruined her relationship with Monique, bringing her brother on this show to talk about what he did to her when she was young. Ruined her friendship with Janet, messing with Michael's kids when he passed. Should I say any more, y'all? Let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all think this fake news? People just talking to be talking? Or this was going on? Her name is Oprah Winfrey. They just call her O. Did O really do it? We're speaking of O. Now, this is going to be the problem. I'm going to see when I say what really happened with O. Is AI going to pick it up and say he talking about O for wrestling? Or O, we got a problem, man. O, somebody get to do something about this. O, 
I'm finna find out, y'all. You dig? Hit that subscribe button. And I mean right fucking now. And then like the video as well. You feel me? It's your boy G Shrimp. Everybody say baby daddy the voice of the street. I'm a flange and I dig you later, man. So remember this. Go tell your mama. Go tell the friend that G Shrimp is at it again. I'm out.